Hello Gemini, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all well and for those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and cross watchers. You are definitely welcomed here as well um, because the roles here can be flipped. They can always be reversed. So apply it to your situation. Okay. All right. Now, this reading is always meant to empower you, give you insight, you know, a peek over the fence um, of tomorrow, never to take your power away, Gemini, okay? All right, let's see. Now, Gemini, for those that are inquiring um, about a personal love reading from me, I am still taking bookings, but um, just be mindful that if you do book, it will most likely be for the last week of September, um, if not maybe the first week of October. Um, only because the spots are filling up fast, but I do have several for the last week of uh, this month, September. Um, so all the readings that I do with prices and how to contact me, all of that is in the description box below. Okay, so even if you just want to contact me beforehand, I respond to every single email. I try to within the day, um, and if for some reason if i haven't responded within the day it is definitely the next day um there is a time difference i'm on the the bottom half of the world so <laughs> all right let's see gemini what is going on for you for this week september weekly love reading please what is going on two more i want to make sure i get a good shuffle for you last one all right perfect Let's get straight into this. I'll also be clarifying uh, every single card I take out. And I'll be closing this reading with the Romance Angel Oracle cards. Um, could also have advice for you and for your person. So let's see who's occupying your heart space. The person most on your mind. I want to escape from you. There we go. Oh, what do we have? King of Cups. Some of you could very well be dealing um, with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, um, but I'm getting very strong Scorpio here as well. Hmm. Okay, Spirit wants me to put it to the side. I will. All right, let's do this. Perfect. What's going on? Bottom of the deck. Wow. So we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, that's actually very strong Sagittarius energy. It doesn't have to be, but I do, um, I will say all the, you know, the main zodiac signs that come up. Some of you could be in a long distance relationship here with your person. You don't have to be. Um, but, you know, if you're not, we do have that, you know, that emotional distance, you know, of you know, kind of longing for each other as well. This is the fastest minor arcana, very fast moving energy. Um, so when this King of Cups arrives, things take off very quickly. A lot of you may be a little bit overwhelmed. Um, but Gemini, it's nothing you cannot handle. So we do have messages, incoming messages coming in. Kind of important as well. I'm going to say very important. It is love messages. It's Cupid's arrow as well. Wow. All right. Please do not shoot the messenger. But um, most likely it is someone that you already know. It could be from the past as well. Um, and I always preach that I always love talking about the future. But I do have to acknowledge when the cards are showing me someone that you do know. Or maybe you do want this person to come back. Um, I do feel here that both of you um, can be at times feeling quite nostalgic, remembering the good times or maybe when you just first met um, and those butterflies in your stomach and, you know, you couldn't wait for your person to call you when they texted you, you know, just really warmed your heart and got you all excited and giddy here. Um, there could be children involved here as well. You might have children. Maybe you want children. Um, your person may have children as well. Um, yeah, but this is a beautiful soulmate connection. It is a soulmate contract. Um, some of you, you know, this could be your lifelong childhood friend, okay? Doesn't have to be. Um, just apply it to your situation. But uh, yeah, yeah, your person, oh, wow. Okay, what happened? Ooh. Okay, this is definitely not over. Um, I'm going to stop right here. The Wheel of Fortune is a turn of events. It's the card of destiny as well, okay? Where you felt at the bottom, Gemini, of the wheel, now you're at the top. When the wheel is turning now in your favor. Um, with that Hierophant uh, Taurus energy, okay? Someone could have been married here, okay? Um, or, you know, if you were together, which I feel like is were, not anymore though. There's a disconnection. It felt like a committed relationship. Uh, maybe we're actually even talking about marriage, okay? Engagements, marriages here. Um, we do recognize this is a beautiful soulmate connection, okay? This is also Cancerian energy that I pick up from this card as a reader. But this is beautiful mutual love here, okay? Um, we've got the Emperor here. We do have strong masculine energy, but 
Um, now, that's the thing. Gender for me does is not important in general love readings. But um, if you are dealing with a masculine, they could have children, um, which I did say before, though. So sorry, I sound like a broken record. Um, but they're going to be taking action towards you. This is the emperor is all the kings wrapped up into one. OK, some of them could be quite stubborn. I'm also picking that up. It's like my way or the highway. I do this. This is the right way. I'm not going to listen to anyone else. Um, they do acknowledge here that they really gave you something. Uh, well, they provided I don't want to like use that word provided. They basically brought in the tower moment for you. Okay, and that was pretty difficult here. That could have been quite dishonest about that tower moment. Um, but we do here have the Ace of Cups, which is what they are offering. So if they ended this abruptly, um, Gemini, um, and basically, you know, they said it was because of this, this, and this, that was probably not the truth. I do have to admit that. So we do have the Ace of Wands. They want a passionate new start with you. We have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm feeling here both of you are probably 100% single, focusing on your life. Your person could be highly distracting themselves as well. Um, yeah, because I don't want to think about this ending that happened. Okay, so there is, we do have Gemini energy there. That Nine of Pentacles can be Virgo. And we have Fire Sign there as well. Gemini, oh, sorry, um, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries here. I feel like also, Gemini, you're really distracting yourself because you don't really want to think about this painful ending. I feel like literally you felt... Well, not literally, metaphorically, you felt your person stabbed you in the back. There is a form of betrayal here. But whatever they said to end this, which I feel there with that tower card was actually quite um, abrupt as well. Okay. Um, I feel like you were blindsided by this and you didn't really have time to absorb what the hell just happened here. Okay. So whatever reason they gave you as to why they couldn't continue on with this, it was a lie. It wasn't the truth. They do know that. Um, yeah. I feel like a lot of these were ghosted blocked this just ended this ended in a i'm not going to say i'm going to be honest it did end, this didn't end in a very good way um and i feel like you're really hurt but you're both you know gemini you're really focusing um on your career um your dream life here you're getting a lot of aces with this person ace of pentacles so not only do they want to offer you um you know their cup of love okay because this is my true card of love they want that passionate new start with you they want to resume that and they want to offer you something solid so what is that it is commitment it is something long term here so the beating heart of the reading here is you there you are gemini okay so your sword is pointing up i feel like a lot of you do want to talk to this person you will welcome it um obviously not with your arms open you do want to hear this person you're trying to be logical about this um some of these also could have been separated and divorced here in the past okay um and i wouldn't say that you're bitter it's just that now you've kind of kind of have a like a barrier a wall over you and you're very discerning who is in who you let back into your circle okay we also have the queen of wands okay so very well you could be dealing with the fire sign um now i am seeing two queens okay there could have been a third party involved maybe your person had a spouse yes um a wife or a husband here and yeah that got that really got in the way here so maybe they went back um, I feel like there's a lot of unanswered questions here. With that five of cups here, okay, that is very strong Scorpio energy. Your person is in major regrets of what they did here, okay? I do see that they are coming back, but at the same time, they're keeping their head low and they're very embarrassed about what happened here. It's almost like they feel they have no right to come back here because I feel like, Gemini, you're soaring here, okay? Um, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is a minor account of the Empress, and you are on your way to whatever it is that you're working on, what you're studying, increasing your finances, changing jobs, working on your dream job, having your own business. You're doing this despite still processing this painful ending here. You're very resilient, honestly. Okay, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Definitely could be children involved here for some of you. They may have children of their own. Um, they are coming out as a page, so, you know, that's that's who they are, but their energy is a page. Um, so, yeah, this is my apology. It is a love offer here. So very well, you could be receiving unexpected text messages here. That's coming from a place of sadness from them. Yeah, they know that they majorly screwed up here. Uh, this reminds me a little bit of the, I think it was the Virgo energy that I did. Um, this was probably a little bit more challenging, though. Um, but what they did here was very childish. They did not honor this connection, especially if they said that they love you. Um, that they're planning the future with you and then they just ended it and they gave you that tower moment yeah okay look at that so we do have the hanged man pisces energy so they have time they've had a lot of time actually to think things from a very different perspective 
I feel like a lot of you have not been talking to this person for quite a while. Um, could be a couple of months to up to a year, if not more, okay? Um, yeah, every time you think about this person, you think how much they hurt you as well. I feel like both of you are nostalgic here. And then it's like, oh yeah, but then they left me. So they did something here and they entered this and you were kind of just left picking up the pieces. So now you have all the aces, the ace of swords. So pretty soon, Gemini, you're going to be receiving that clarity that you really sorely need right now, okay? Keep seeing that king of wands. They're going to take action towards you. There's that, um, the queen of wands as well. Uh, discussion here could be probably uh, possibly around someone else that was in the picture as well. All right, let me clarify. You know, this is just a very basic um, story here, but I do want to dive uh, a lot more deeper now. All right, let's see. Let's get to the bottom of this. And last one. Perfect. You know, I do see that they, they will come back. I don't feel like it's going to happen probably anytime soon. Um, wouldn't be surprised if this does happen, though, before the end of the year. Let me see. Four of Wands. So there definitely could have been uh, marriage involved here. Maybe your person was married. Maybe you were. Um, yeah, but this is my beautiful soulmate, Twin Flame Energy. It is about marriage. It is about coming together. It is about celebrating. This is what they want. They want to rekindle what they had with you. Marriage there. There it is. That is the Hierophant card, strong Taurus energy. So definitely someone was married here. Maybe both of you were married. Um, but see, sometimes the Ten of Swords can indicate, you know, it's like that cold ending, a separation, a divorce as well, a painful ending as well, though. There's that Queen of Wands again. Mm -hmm. Some of you could definitely have strong fire in your chart as well. I feel like you're taking a lot of action towards your life. You're really taking control of your life. What makes you happy? Um, but your person could have very well actually um, separated or divorced from someone that had very strong fire in their chart as well. We have the emperor. There we are. Sorry, it was off screen. Interesting. Um, so yeah, if you are dealing with a masculine, definitely showing here that they will be taking action. The emperor is all the kings wrapped up into one and they're going to take action. Now, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that I did see the emperor i've got the hierophant here and there is the emperor again so yeah they're going to this is action they're definitely going to take action um but i feel like you'll be taking your time here in in other words to see well, what's really going to happen here so i forgot to show you at the bottom of um this deck we have the eight of swords okay that is your energy very strong gemini energy a lot of you feel a little bit trapped here um, it's like you don't really know how can this actually be saved. How can you actually move forward after what they did? Um, but you eventually probably will take action with that full card. Um, but yeah, see, you're in the dark about a lot of things. Okay, you're using your intuition as well. Page of Pentacles, the Hermit. Yeah, so they're definitely going to contact you um, after a long period here of not talking to one another. So we do have the King of Swords. So you do have your perfect match here with the Queen and the King of Swords. Okay. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius as well. The sword is pointing up, um, which does mean that there will be communication and truth coming in. Um, that sun card, Leo energy. A lot of these actually would be happy to hear from this person. So whatever caused this ending will be different for all of you. Um, but I do feel here that it's actually going to make you quite happy here. And I really do feel that your person is seeing longevity with you. They always did. Um, I don't know why spirit is kind of like, I don't like to call people cowards. That's kind of mean, but I feel like they took the coward's way out of this instead of telling you the truth. So whatever it is that they said to you, um, or even what is it that they didn't, they probably just blocked you or ghosted you. That was the easy way out for them. Okay. The real reason why they ended this had nothing to do with you, but you will find out the truth. Absolutely. The chariot, you could be dealing here with a cancer. Okay. A cancerian energy could be at a distance as well. I do see him see that they really do want face-to-face -face conversation with you. They do want to talk to you. Um, even if you're at a distance here, FaceTime is the best thing. Um, but this is about victory. Yeah, they want this to work. They want to be victorious in this. Okay. Yeah, they are watching you. They are certainly watching you here. Definitely that page is showing that there can be children as well involved. They don't actually have to be like babies. They can actually be adult children as well. But, um, or like probably, I don't know, 20-something, 16, 18 um, but they're watching you. That sword again is almost pointing up. So I feel like they're, uh, I think it's just a matter of time before this happens. I would not be surprised if this happens before the end of the year. I have to admit, because swords do represent weeks as well. So they are watching you. They're keeping tabs on you somehow. 
So that Magician card is Gemini Virgo energy, okay? So I feel like here that both of you have the tools you need to make this work. I know it seems quite challenging here. It's like, really, how's this going to work? After what they did, um, it, I feel like there's probably a lot of obstacles in front of both of you. But you have the tools that you need as well. Wow. I'm not getting any, um, like energy that they manipulate things i'm not getting that sometimes this can happen with the magician but this is also known as the knight in shining armor as well so we do have the world card okay so some of the fixed signs here um with the world is definitely um taurus scorpio aquarius and uh leo okay um definitely showing that you could be at a distance from your person literally with this card they do think the world of you they do hold you in high regard uh, but where a cycle has ended which is at ten of swords now we have a new cycle starting up again Wow. The seven of wands. Yeah, they, they know that they will need to defend themselves here. Okay. They know that you're quite defensive as well. You may have spoken some bitter, half, harsh truths to this person, which may have hurt them, but they know it's the truth as well. Gemini, you always speak your truth. Okay. That's something I absolutely love about Gemini's, that you speak your truth. Even if it hurts someone else, it is the truth. Okay. So don't change for anyone. Um, but this is also about fighting for what they believe in, fighting for what they want. Okay. Which is you. There you are again. OK, so you're getting your perfect match with the king and the queen of swords. OK, yeah, there's going to be heaps of communication between both of you. They regret here. What is it that they're regretting is that they were not honest with you. They're also in denial. That seven of swords there um, can also sh uh, I, I do pick up some Aquarius energy with that one as well. Um, but sometimes it can indicate a little bit of lying, cheating, stealing. Um, I don't really feel here that they actually cheated on you per se. I just feel here that the reason why they ended this was a big fat lie. It was because of something else. Um, we do have that fox there. So they actually thought, okay, I'll get away with this. And it's like, no, I'm not. I can't get away with this. They could also be in denial that maybe at the start they thought they did the right thing. And now they're realizing that they didn't because of that five of cups there. So they could be emotionally suffering here as well. Silently. No one knows about it. Um, so they do regret not being honest with you. Okay. Six of Pentacles here. So someone, uh, your person here could be sensing a financial obligation also um, of paying out a spouse or child support. They're not saying that to you right now, to be honest. It's almost like they felt they couldn't afford to be in this relationship as well. I feel like they wanted to give you so much, but they couldn't as well. This could also be a lack of self-esteem, of confidence as well. But they do want to provide you with that Six of Pentacles, um, equal give and take. It's about healing, peace, harmony as well. Yeah, We've got that Nine of Pentacles here. I uh, don't like seeing so many queens. That Nine of Pentacles can show me that maybe they were in a long-term um, committed relationship or married to someone else. Okay. They possibly could be paying um, this person out as well. They will be communicating with you. You do have that ace, um, eight of wands. So we've got it twice here. Uh, so definitely showing me that they will be communicating with what's been happening in their personal life. You may not be aware of what's been happening. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm seeing these two cards here, which is your person and you. So I feel like there's going to be heaps of communication. And now you've got your perfect match. You've got the empress and the emperor. This for me is actually possibly marriage for both of you, is engagements, marriages. You know, for me, when I see especially, especially the major arcanas um, of the emperor and the empress is definitely showing me that you are a power couple. When you are together, yeah, you get stuff done. You have fun. You feel safe in each other's arms. Look at that. They're still regretting this over you with that empress here. They see you as the empress. Wow. They want this to grow. They want to nourish this. They got, they're getting the Five of Cups twice. Or did I say Pentacles? Sorry. The Five of Cups. Okay. Let me give you some of the... Uh, you see, look at that. This could be the one you already met, the romantic partner you seek. Wow. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I feel like both of you are kind of really missing each other. No more. All right, let's see. What do we got, please? Let's close this off with my Jimmy Jams. What's going on? Ooh, all right. No more. Let me just do one more shuffle. Don't want to see the cards. Perfect. Bottom of the deck, wedding. This situation involves marriage, especially if your person is kind of going through a divorce or getting out um, of a divorce. They're definitely seeing um, long-term with you, though, with weddings. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. They're releasing um, their person. They're releasing their ex here. Oh, there's passionate here towards you. Um, there's that deception card. That is a seven of swords here. So whatever they did, it was not true. 
Um, there was some form of dishonesty, but this is them removing their mask and actually coming clean about something. The romantic feelings are quite strong. Heart to heart conversations. That's going to happen. Attraction is still there. Mm -hmm. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, but see, as much as with that sun card, because I always clarify with every single card, including these ones with the tarot, um, as much as it's going to make you happy to hear from this person, you're paying attention to the red flags, okay? The signs are cautioning you. You're not going to go in with your eyes closed, Gemini, okay? I think it'll be very discerning, okay? Getting to know each other all over again. You deserve love. You are lovable, yeah. Yeah, they're worried. It's on top of you, um, the Queen of Swords. They're worried here that there's unrequited love here, that you don't love them anymore, that you don't see them, that you don't respect them anymore worth waiting for they're hoping they're really hoping that not that you've been waiting for them all this time but i don't know i kind of feel to some extent also you've been waiting on each other soulmate again yes this is your soulmate and the last card what do we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic um, partner you seek wow strong messages here very specific almost so if you do resonate with this gemini um, I appreciate if you hit that um, that like button. Apparently, it's important because it gets spread out to someone that may need to see this. Apparently, I'm not really sure how that works. But anyway, I do appreciate your time and all for your subscriptions as well. But if this resonates with you and you kind of feel this is your story, I do wish you all the healing in the entire world. You know, may this be resolved for you and you can heal your heart. Okay, all the very best. Take care. Bye.